Alright, so I guess we just want to list the items underneath what the person actually ordered. So this order would have items associated with it. So we'll just come in here and just before the HR tag we'll um, we'll do a little query uh, we'll run our little function to get our items back. So items equals find items and this is just the function we just created. And of course we want to find the item by the order ID. And of course that order ID it's just coming from inside here, passing into there, getting back the items, and then we can just easily do a for each loop. And I'll just say n for each. Just like that. Because I actually stuffed up and I didn't even put these items in. You'll see in the last lesson I say, hey, we didn't list the items for each order. But um I quickly explain all that. So that's funny as. Yes. But uh, I'll, just, I'll just fix it up now, I thought. Doesn't matter. If there's a few mistakes, I can fix them up. So we'll say items as item. And we'll say P, P, and we'll say echo, and we'll say item title, and we'll just say times. That's just the text times, not going to times the actual values. And we just want to get the quantity back. Because this is not anything fancy. That title and quantity is just coming from the our orders, um, our items table in our database. If we go to our table, we've got an items, an items table, and these link to orders. So uh, this fight night game belongs to order number two. And this Halo game belongs to order number two. This Fight Night Round Three belongs to order number three. This Fight Night Round Three belongs to order number four. And I'm just looping through those, getting the title and the quantity back, you know, from our function that we created. I hit save. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end. I haven't got a ball tag ended somewhere here. Um, see that? I haven't got that closed off. So I'm just going to do a forward slash on that. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to come back here. I'm just going to do a refresh. I hit save, but it takes a while to save, doesn't it? Hit refresh again. There we go. So that has Fight Night Round 3 times 1. That has Fight Night Round 3 times 2, so he wants two of those. And this person's got one of those and one Halo 3. So that's all cool. Anyway, I'll let you just get back to the lesson. Just thought I'd jump in there and fix that bit up for you guys. And cheerio. What else could we do? Um, I think that's it. I think, I think we just need to put a template on this baby because right now it's pretty much done. Uh, you know, it's, it's right to go. Like if you had a client and you were like, finished your cart, you know, maybe there's a few things we could fix, I don't know really, but it's so simple this cart, you don't want to overwork it, you know, it's a couple of hours work and you've got a full full system going, which is pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it, I think that's all I'll do for this, I think that's, um, it's done, unless, we'll just have a look in our DP functions. I just want to check if I've done any without MySQL escape string. I know I did. Was it in the cart functions? Yeah, like here. See how I'm grabbing that ID? That really, um, this really should be in an sprintf. So let's, I'm just going to change that. Screw it. I know it doesn't really have to be, but sometimes you just gotta do it, you know? Uh, MySQL. Keep on getting this mixed around today, I don't know why. Is it escape string? Real escape string? Keep on getting it missed around. Yeah, real escape string. Real. Escape string. I keep on getting real and escape around the wrong way. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes I just have mental blanks. I program in a lot of different languages now. <laughs> and yeah, so get that.
throw that in there. Turn that to an S. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll save it. Make sure it all works. So update. Yeah, that all works. So it's still stayed at fifty. So that's good. Um, just need like a home button. We just need a template put on this, and I think we're done, folks. I know it's been a long lesson. It's been pretty tough, probably some of it. The last lesson, no doubt, was pretty intense. But oh, maybe we should. That's all we'll do. We'll go in here into our PayPal file, and we'll just update a few things. It's really good though, this is really relaxing for me now. I'm just really cruising. I don't feel any pressure, you know. It's all done. So we could put this into another file, our shipping and set up a config file, but I'll let you guys try and figure out how we could how you could do that. I'll give you as a tip, you'd set up another include config file. And if you've done the other lessons, you should be able to share the shipping in this file uh, with the shipping in the shop controller. I'm just gonna show you the shop controller. See how we've set the shipping here as well, so you guys can have a little play around, see if you can figure out that quite easy. And yeah, so we'll throw a function comment on here. And we'll just say checks if PayPal checks if um, yeah, PayPal PayPal trans ID is already in database uh, its type is an integer and its name is trans ID returns a boolean response uh, checks to make sure that payment amount PayPal payment amount is correct variable um, is integer shipping got another variable as well on that function so I'll just throw that in as well integer say params and that's an array. Because remember, that's just the array of variables getting sent back from um, from PayPal. <coughs> and we'll just do another one down here. And we will say, oh, what did this do I say returns fully? And we'll just go function comment. Creates order. and adds items type is array params return type boolean so all those values go in there it inserts all the stuff creates our items all this stuff we already read about so yeah we just gotta make sure all that happens and then we just create our order um, we could log all our errors, but um, I'm just going to leave that off because it's not going to make any difference for our little cart. You guys might want to send an email to yourself. Maybe you guys can figure out how to. Remember, we were sending email in the other lesson before we were actually creating our order. Maybe you could set up an email and email you email yourself all the information you want about that order, like the uh, transaction and all the other stuff you get back from PayPal, or just an email to say, "Hey, there's been an error." You know. Um, what could be done about that? You might want to do that here as well if we can't connect and send all the files back to PayPal just to let yourself know and you can go and um, find out what's happening. Um, they're just little, they're just things that you guys can just add to make the cart, um, our shopping cart better. But most of this stuff, I'll just say this, change these to your PayPal settings. 
Let's save. Alright, so that's pretty standard stuff. I mean, we could even remove all these functions if we wanted to. All of these. Right down to there and get rid of all that stuff. So right down to line 150 and put that into another file, a PayPal functions file if you wanted to. Maybe you could do that as well. Um, yeah, you guys... Yeah, we've done, I think you've done well. If you followed along this whole lesson, um, yeah, I think it's been, I think it's been good so far. So, hopefully, I know it's been tough some parts, but you know that's how sometimes things things go. But next lesson, we'll just put our template on it, and we'll just look at it and be like, yeah, we did it, and be happy with our what we did, and yeah. We'll, do a little happy dance maybe but um thanks so much for your company uh yeah it's been good i'm enjoying this so next lesson i've got to finish this off because you always got to finish the job so that's what i'm going to do finish the job so i'll see you at the next lesson <laughs>